I am here in Nico, and I'm going to go up to Jekyll Falls, which uh, should be a short little hike. According to the map, it doesn't look too far. Uh, it's a little bit out of the way. I actually walked here from the train station, which is, you know, a little bit of a walk. But if you're on a car or bicycle, they have a um, pretty nice parking lot. Up there we have Joko Shrine. Um, not the best maintained set of stairs. That's probably why they added these railings that, yeah, could use a paint job. But um, there's a lot of things in Japan that could use a paint job, maybe a little bit of maintenance. But, uh... I think a lot of these tourist sites that are not super popular, they kind of just do the bare minimum. Which that kind of looks like the treasure house. Maybe the treasure house for Joko Shrine is in front and the shrine's behind it. Here is the shrine itself. Um, surprisingly, it has a ghost one. It looks like you have to go to another shrine's office to get it. Um, I got no clue where that one is. And I didn't bring my books anyways. Over here is the fall. Sometimes these remote shrines that have ghost show in, they leave them in a box and you leave the money. But I wonder if maybe because this is a touristy area, they don't want to do it. Or they want people to go visit the uh, main shrine or the bigger shrine. All right, there's Jacko Falls. I just came from up there where the shrine is. It looks like a uh, alternative path has been made to avoid that uphill and all those rocky stairs, which if you just want to go to the waterfall, that makes sense. So pretty cool waterfall. Also very, very cold. It looks like a popular place for people to just kind of hike out for a little bit, have the kids play around. Although the water's pretty cold, so that might be shocking to them. Now this side trail is much more pleasant to walk on. It's a bit more flat. And you don't have the steep stairs. But you miss the shrine. But hey, if you're not interested in seeing the shrine, I would go this way. That's interesting. Wonder where that goes to. Nika has so many of these small little trails. And you're just like, huh, where does that go? Where does that go? Uh, I don't think I'm going to go up that one though. I'm going to look more around this area around Joko Falls. So it looks like up there there's another river. So there's one river here, one river here, and they meet each other. And it looks like the other river has a dam not very far away from it. Well, my eyes did not deceive me. This is a dam. Um, honestly, uh, it's the hot and dry season right now, so it's not actually holding back very much water. According to the map, there's another waterfall or two if you keep hiking this way. However, it looks like I was actually supposed to go up on the other side. So I guess maybe you're supposed to cross down there. Because over there, there's stairs. And on my side, no stairs. I hope you enjoyed this little exploration of Joko Falls and the surrounding area. If you have any questions for me, go down to the comments section, ask away. Tell me what was your favorite part or the most interesting thing here. Should I come back and explore the uh, trail that goes across the river? Or should I come back and try to go further past the dam? If you've made it this far and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Give me a like, it always helps the algorithm. And I will see you in the next one.